Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Los Angeles, California, and today we're gonna go eat, we're gonna go to Koreatown, and we're gonna eat what is one of the most iconic LA Korean foods. Well, we're not just gonna eat one giant cauldron of boiling short ribs, we're gonna eat two cauldrons back to back. We're gonna meet up with my friend Jeffrey Marahue, who is one of the most extreme food lovers I've ever met and hung out with. And we are going to eat the LA Korean Kaibi Jim double whammy back to back. And by the way, did I mention that it's 8 a.m. in the morning? There's nothing that sounds better at 8 a.m. in the morning than a giant bubbling meat feast. Wait, is it here? Yeah, okay. Okay, officially good morning. We have arrived to Koreatown, a place that we're going to first. It is called Sun Nong Dan. Hi, <laughs> great hello. to see you. I can say hello. <laughs> Let me introduce you to my friend Jeffrey Marahue. Hello, welcome to Los Angeles. We're one of the biggest dinner plates in all of Los Angeles. <laughs> yes, and we're eating it for breakfast. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Mark Waits, right? What's up, man? Oh my god, so nice. Bubbling cauldron of goodness. No, 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 no. Big one, big one. Large. Large, please. How spicy is it? I'm afraid for extreme. Spicy. Oh, they have mild, medium, spicy, extreme. We're not gonna eat one cauldron of bubbling tender ribs, but two cauldrons. Two cauldrons. Back to back. Oh, and, and Jeffrey calls it the, it's, I mean, it could be called the double whammy, could be called the back to back. The bang Jeffrey. Bang. It's a bang bang. The, Onions and chilies. We gotta get those mouth juices flowing before the main event comes. So yeah. it's been too many months without kimchi. Oh yes, here it is. Wow. You ready? the chili seeds bursting in there. And not only is it just loaded with the short ribs, but they, they put a pile of shredded cheese on it, and then when they bring it to your table, he busts out the blowtorch, solid meat and cheese down there. And rice sticks. And rice sticks. Although you wanna like jump on it and like swim in it immediately, there's no rush to eat this because it will just stay hot throughout your entire meal. Another reason there's no rush to dive in is because the short rib melts into the bubbling cauldron of joy. And so <laughs> it just gets better and better and better as you go on until you're scooping the bottom off the cauldron, maybe with your bare hands. <laughs> now that, yeah, that's a pro tip. We're going right into the center There's of no the coming cheese. Back. No coming <laughs> back. You don't see us again, call the Coast Guard. <laughs> this is like exploring a volcano. <laughs> Oh wow, that's just solid cheese. Okay, that will be my first bite. Oh, the cheese. Should we do a double bite? Yes. You ready? In we go. Mm. Oh, I lost my onion. Oh, I just had a bite of solid cheese with chili oil on my first bite. And it was amazing. The dunk. And that's a, oh, oh just dripping. <laughs> But you can see how the meat has already absorbed all of that. Oh, I just, oh, we just, we just, it's like an infinity edge. It's an infinity edge. <laughs> Look at this meat. We lost a little, a little of that chili oil down there, but that's okay. It's already starting to saturate with that chili oil. Um, wow. And there's some cheese attached as well. Wow. Mm -hmm. You've successfully gotten it on your chin. Oh my and I'm not gonna wipe it. That's an important <laughs> aspect. That's the type of bite that like, I mean before you even sink your teeth fully into the meat, it starts to just coat your taste buds. And short rib is such a 
such a flavorful cut because of the fatty content. And then it's just soaked up with that, that chili oil sauce, which is a little bit sweet. It's salty, just a little bit spicy. We ordered the extreme. It's not, not too spicy, but it's good, just slightly spicy. That's okay. like the souvenir of eating here. I am in search of a rice stick. Oh, there it is. There it is. The sacred it is. and holy. I'm gonna try a Mark Wayne's <laughs> signature bite. Complete with dies. Mmm. Why are rice sticks so amazing? That is a mystery that needs to be solved. We're actually putting down the chopsticks and starting to reach in with our spoons so that we can get more, maximize more sauce per bite. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything with, with some of the onions, with some of the cheese, with, well, with a lot of cheese, with a giant piece of meat. As you keep on digging, just every bar bite starts to get melted cheese all over it. Oh, you found one. Oh, thank you, Jeffrey. <laughs> okay, now I think we managed to get everything on this bite. There's cheese, there's, there's short rib, and there is a rice cake, which Jeffrey just put on top. This might be the best bite you can possibly have. A double double rice stick. <laughs> the double spoon. Here's to you, brother. Cheers. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still attached. <laughs> oh, wow. oh. That's insane. It is. No wonder David Chang came back two times in one day. Who could blame him? He was so yeah. Jeffrey was telling me David Chang, he came once. He loved it so much. He came a second time in the same day. Same day. Same day. Came back for dinner. Look at my spoon. It starts to get cheese. Just starts to to harden yeah. on your on your spoon. Completely destroyed the cheese cheese cap. <laughs> uh, but there's still a lot of cheese mixed in with it, in, in there. Okay, and you gotta order extreme. Uh huh. I'm gonna go in for a bone. I'm gonna spoon it on. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is beauty. One more scoop on here. Oh, look, at that. look at that. Just run. For you and some cheese. <laughs> All right. Oh my God! Going in. Mm. Oh my God! Oh, it just unravels. It's insane. But that gets to be so much meat in your mouth at one time. Now is when things start to get messy because you get a little bit delirious. It's just getting better and better, but you just can't control your your mouth or your face. And something I didn't notice until now is that there's carrots in there too. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. It's packed now. Uh, we're just stepping outside. The only thing that could possibly make it better is that we're not finished yet. So when I first read that David Chang came for the spicy Galbi Gin and then came back at night, I said, I gotta do that. So I was so excited when I came over here to this place, I just ran into the place that had the photos of the platter. And then I brought my friends back on four different occasions. The last time I invited Andy Haler, the only man to have been to all the three-star Michelin restaurants in the world, said I'd meet him here. And we're both texting each other going, I'm here. And I'm going, no, I'm here. And I'm going, no, I'm here. So we stuck <laughs> our heads out of these two doors and we're staring at each other. And I go, Andy, you idiot, you're in the wrong place. And he's like, no, Jeffrey, you're an idiot. You're in the wrong place. So we're, we're gonna try the next one now. Thank Empty. you. Empty. And again, we're gonna order the exact same thing, the spicy Kaibi Jim. From the entire story that Jeffrey mentioned, he. He was actually mistaken to first come to this place, uh, but then he kept coming back four times before he realized that that original was next door where we just ate. And you'll notice that next door is loaded with people. It's got a sign-in sheet and you have to wait. Here, probably incorrectly, nobody in the place. So we shall see. Yeah, I know, for you to go. Whoa, you can feel the heat radiating, irradiating off of that. I've already noticed a few key differences, mainly uh, where they serve it on a hot, a hot uh, burner. 
so it keeps on bubbling away. But I think there are actually so many differences in this that this, um, and also this restaurant specializes in gamjatang, which is one of my favorite Korean dishes, the, the pork spine stew. So different. Yeah, look at these mega chunks of bone. Um, they've got whole chilies, they've got whole chilies in here. And then, yeah, these chunks of bone are literally, this is like a, it's like a drumstick. These are like beef, beef drumsticks. Oh, you can use the tongs. Oh, you've got the advantage there. Oh, oh then, yeah. I think Jeff, oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. oh, that just slides off the bone. That is, that is more, just more tender. It is ridiculously tender. Hey, I see you every day. Thank you. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I think because it is a different cut of meat, it is, it is more tender. More tender. And it just kind of slides up. It's almost like, almost briskety. Yeah, briskety. Yeah, that's a good. It is. It's a good. Comment. Wow. The also sauce. Different. It's a little. It's a little less sweet. And it has more of a, I taste a sesame fragrance, a lot of sesame oil in there, I think. Mm. Jeffrey and I were also discussing about the cheese. I think the cheese might just be a fun factor. It doesn't actually add that much flavor. Well, it's almost like unnecessary flavor. But it is so good because it looks so cool. <laughs> and, it's, and it's fun to eat because you- everything. And you can like sometimes, that. and sometimes you, you feel like more, like you're one with the dish because you're attached to it. Ah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Turning the fire back on. It's more chunky. Like there's giant chunks of bone, bone and meat. There's giant chunks of potato. Uh, you just rummage through it. Oh, you can just hear it hissing. It really is one of those dishes that is as fun to eat as it is delicious. Um, but I mean, both, both the fun and delicious are at peak. Oh, that's hot. Oh, that's a lava, lava beef. That's like melting beef in your mouth. I'm starting to go a little it's bit starting delirious. Yeah, you can feel the crunching cheese Crunching up on the bottom. <laughs> wow, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, oh, right. Some blood sausage. Yeah. Sunday, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Sunday, right? Yeah, yeah, try it. Awesome, thank you. As we were rummaging through the, the molten lava, yeah, the owner has brought us out some sundae, which is the blood sausage, which we got to try. The I guess you're wet, shrimp, and then dry. Oh, yeah. mm. Did you double dip it? I only did the red. Red dip that time. I double, double dip. Because yeah. <laughs> it's filled with the mung bean noodles. It's jiggly. Just that faint undertone of irony bloodiness. The liquid is starting, beginning to evaporate, but you can smell the caramelized cheese, which has sunk to the bottom. Oh, you can just hear it hissing too. Oh yeah, we've got some blackened cheese on the bottom. A lot of the meat is starting to just fall off the bone naturally, and it's just melting into the, the sauce and, and the whole cheesy mess. Oh wow, that's so hot down there. <laughs> <laughs> the burnt cheesy meat has become one with the rice stick. <laughs> mm. That cheese might be on there permanently, fossilized onto the chopsticks. <laughs> Finding new thing, digging out? I don't even know what that is. It's like a dinosaur bone from the dawn of time. It's a fossil. See this thing that's like crunched onto the bottom of the... There it is. Get it, get it, get it. You gotta eat that. It's the best thing. Oh, this oh, one is. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't get it off. I can't get it off. Come in to help. Oh my god. Okay. We actually had to use quite a lot of leverage to get that out, and it was it was a two man job to get that out of the man. <laughs> Oh, fossilized cheese. Okay, so as the story goes again, Jeffrey 
had been eating at this place, but he didn't know that the original was next door for this for this particular dish, even though they're so different. Um, but then once he figured it out and the entire uh, this strip mall uh, with the dishes, he, he, you, you never come back here and don't eat both of them, right? They're both great, and thanks for David Chang getting me here, even though I went to the wrong one. <laughs> but um, I have to say, when push comes to shove, the heaters they have here, but they don't have there, are better because they caramelize everything under the bottom. And all I'd say to that is, if they use heaters over there, that would be even better. That would be another another step. The second element another is level. the bones here are thicker, and is to use your word, the meat turns more into a brisket. It's softer and soaks up more juice, so a slight advantage here. But again, when it's stressed, the beef ribs over there are great. Mm -hmm. And then here they have a few items in there, like those, what were those, Chinese plums? Yeah, it's like dry Chinese plums, I think. I think. And, um, so what do you So yeah, I mean, for me, for me, definitely I like the meat here because it's just so unbelievably fall apart tender. It just melts in your mouth. I think this one was a little less sweet. The one over at Sundong is a little sweeter. Um, so that can, de that can depend on your personal preference. Um, overall, this version is just a lot more chunky and like bigger, bigger chunks of things. I really think that the moral of the story, which Jeffrey already figured out, is that there's no way to not do them back to back. That would just be the, that, that's the rule. That's what you gotta do. You gotta eat them both. So David Chang, <laughs> you went next door for the first one and next door for the second one. And that's why I'm here, so I thank you. But now, <laughs> Mark and I issue a challenge to you. Bang, bang. This has been one of the most satisfying breakfasts <laughs> of my life. Are we gonna put that on YouTube here? Yes. Well, yes. Right. We'll all be on YouTube. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you very much. That was amazing. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Thank you. Owner there is so friendly. Uh, we got some of the gamjatang for takeaway, but then he also gave us a bowl of, of his kimchi jjigae to take away as well. We'll be, we'll be enjoying this in a few hours. Uh, wow, that was a, a significant breakfast. After the after the bang bang, the duo of Kaibi Jim, it's a little more of a struggle to get in and out of the car. Oh, wow. The real like bottom line is that you have to try them both. They are both insanely, crazily delicious. Uh, the second place, I like how the meat just falls off the bone. It's so ultra tender, and then how they keep it over the fire the entire time you're eating so it just bubbles and then you get some more serious caramelization on that cheese the meat just me it literally melts into an entire like swampy mess of lava flavor uh, but then the first place everything is cut finer and everything is uh, I mean it's a different cut of beef it's the kaibi it's those that's the real short ribs uh, then you've got slices of potato and daikon mixed in there and then there is more cheese to that one and then everything just sort of uh, mingles together as well I want to say a huge thank you to Jeffrey uh, he's yeah he's a good eating friend of mine and he's he's such an extreme food lover I will leave his Instagram below and also he's the founder of extreme foodies which I'll leave the link in the description box you can check out uh, a list of every every major city in the world there's a list of the top eats the top food in that city from local bloggers thank you very much for watching please remember to give this video a thumbs up and also leave a comment below I'd love to hear from you and if you're not already subscribed click subscribe now also click that little bell icon that way you'll get notified of the next video that I publish thanks again for watching goodbye from LA I will see you on the next video